Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? We're gonna look at all of that today. So let's jump right in for Scorpio. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages or guidance do you have for Scorpio regarding love? What does Scorpio need to know regarding love? No. Let's see. Okay, what's currently happening for you in love or what you can expect? We have judgment and the seven of swords reverse. Yikes. <laughs> so the seven of swords reverse is usually a card about like being caught red-handed or someone being seen very clearly doing something they shouldn't. So the fact that judgment is here with this, it's almost like like a hammer coming down trying to figure out what that's all about okay um any past energies or influences on this situation well the ten of wands makes sense this has been a burden on this connection and ace of cups oh i feel it's, it's an emotional burden because feelings are involved so it's something that maybe should be easy isn't The Ten of Wands keeps coming up for people in readings, and I've been using different decks, and it still comes up. I feel like this is kind of like a running theme with a lot of signs as we head towards like the holiday season, um, the end of the, of the year. I feel like there's been a lot that's happened this year, and it's kind of all coming to some sort of like climax. How do you feel about this person? Oh, Seven of Pentacles reverse. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So you feel like you've wasted your time, your effort. Maybe you put in too much effort into something that didn't pan out. You feel like maybe you invested in the wrong person. Um, or you just were working towards something that you thought was going to grow and expand. And it, that didn't happen. Something is not working, not growing for you here with this particular person. How do they feel about you? Two of Wands, King of Swords, Reverse. Yeah, so they don't... I feel like this is somebody that has no clue what they're going to do. I'm almost picturing someone here that's like... I mean, typically the King of Swords, Reverse is a mean person, petty person. Um, they tend to be um, deceiving and hard to deal with because they're just on like this path of destruction basically and but i'm not picking that up it's almost like what i'm picking up here is someone that they're not using their brain <laughs> or their intelligence or communication they can't they can't think clearly they can't communicate clearly we'll see if i'm right about this when i clarify but i'm not picking up negative energy here i, I almost feel like this is somebody that's lost but i don't know why and I mean, it could very well be that they are the Seven of Swords Reverse, King of Swords Reverse, and then I'm wrong about that. Um, I'm just letting you know what I feel initially. Okay, so what do we need to know? Any hidden factors? Wow, Ace of Pentacles and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. These are powerful energies. I feel like there's like a resolution here something being resolved or coming into balance i don't know if it's between you and this person or one of you feeling this way or you know having some sort of opportunity that helps you regain balance i feel like this is happening behind the scenes where is all of this headed ace of wands reverse page of swords wow we have three aces two upright one reverse I feel like this is just basically saying almost like something's not going to begin until there's some sort of clearing of the air here with the Page of Swords or some sort of information is found out or someone digs deep or has a conversation. Why is all of this happening? Bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords, Reverse. Well, someone's no longer letting their fear control them. They're um, seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. This is somebody that is no longer anxious 
or worried, but um, sometimes the Nine of Swords reverse could also mean that someone's having like a breakdown of some sort, a mental breakdown. But I don't think that's the case because right after that, I have the Four of Cups. So I, I literally am feeling that there's someone in this connection that is over it. They're no longer, maybe if they were controlled in the past by their fear or by their guilt, that's not how they feel anymore. That's not working anymore. So let's get into clarifying. Spirit, can I get some clarity please for Scorpio? For Scorpio, please, what do we need to know? Not a lot of major arcana is in this spread, just two. Um, typically major arcanas, they signify or symbolize like big shifts in energy. Um, so I feel like what's happening here is something small, but with the potential to grow or to bring about some sort of new beginning, because I have so many aces here and I have a 10, the 10 of wands. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. I also find it fascinating that judgment and temperance are here and both of these major arcanas have angels. Um, obviously you can't really see it in this particular deck, other than judgment does have wings, um, but in the traditional tarot, um, this temperance card, there's an angel there as well. And angels are symbols of divine messages or the divine being, you know, in some way, uh, involved so okay let's see what all of this is kind of about we'll start with the nine of swords reverse because that's kind of why everything is happening what what can you tell us spirit about this nine of swords reverse why is the nine of swords reverse queen of cups why is the nine of swords reverse Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there with the Queen of Cups. Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? The world, yeah. This is all about the ending of a cycle and the beginning of another one. And this is, again, the world has shown up a lot too for other signs. I think this is just a common theme. But I feel like this is somebody that emotionally, they're ready to let something go, I feel. Close the door and start a new one. Tell me about the world. And right before the world is judgment. Tell me about the world. What's the world about? Yep, the hermit, Virgo energy. This is somebody that I feel is thinking, okay, the energy that I'm getting is somebody that is planning or thinking alone. This is a solitary journey. Whoever's having a new beginning, they're, I don't feel like they're doing it with this particular person. Scorpio, let me know in the comments, are you with a particular person or in a connection that you are ready to move on from? Uh, this could also be somebody that has just been thinking about this for a long time. Virgo energy. Tell me about the world. The Hermit is also a spiritual card. This is somebody that is doing soul searching, um, listening to their inner voice or intuition, letting that guide them. Tell me more about the world. Four of Cups comes out again, and then the Nine of Pentacles. See, this is somebody single or independent thinking about this alone. I feel like someone has, I don't know if it's due to disappointment or what, but I feel like they're just thinking of themselves. Thinking of having a new beginning on their own. So if they are attached to someone, they wouldn't be attached, you know, I feel like this is kind of what's setting everything else in motion here is that somebody's thinking about this. And I feel like this is their intuition speaking to them. They're listening to their heart or listening to, um, maybe they're just in touch with their emotions with the Queen of Cups here. And I feel that that's probably why we have this judgment with the Seven of Swords reverse. It's almost like, 
whatever is happening with the seven of swords reverse someone's making a judgment call based off of that like a final decision let's see tell me about the seven of swords reverse spirit why is the seven of swords reverse why is the seven of swords reverse king of cups shows up Can I get one more, please, for the Seven of Swords reverse? Well, I'm confused now because King of Cups wouldn't do this. Tell me about the Seven of Swords reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? Wow, the Empress and the Three of Wands, the Chariot at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this King of Cups is you, Scorpio. I could be wrong about that, but I feel like this King of Cups is, let me just say if it's, it, let me just not put a sign on it. This King of Cups is someone that is recognizing their worth here, I feel, or recognizing who their Empress is. Um, and the Empress is a symbol for expansion, growth, creativity, abundance. Doesn't necessarily have to be a person. But I feel like this is someone that's been waiting to make a move to leave, walk away, go in a different direction at three wands with the chariot here. This is very interesting. Let's look at what judgment is about. Tell me about judgment. I'm telling you right now, this king of cups is not the person being caught. King of cups is not deceptive in nature. In fact, they kind of wear their heart on their sleeve. They're very open. Um, open with their feelings um, they're not the best at communicating you know how they feel but they're not able to hide how they feel if that makes sense uh, king of cups is very emotionally mature and stable as well tell me about judgment tell me about judgment why is judgment here oh Six of Swords. This is definitely someone that's going to want to walk away. That's the judgment call. Someone's leaving. Interesting. I just got a message while I was thinking about this King of Cups with the Seven of Swords reverse. Tell me about this King of Cups. What can you tell me about this King of Cups, Spirit? What can you tell me about this King of Cups? King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is not the person causing, this is not the person being caught. But, okay, so if this is not the person being caught, I feel this King of Cups is seeing someone very clearly they caught someone or they realized who they were really dealing with this king of cups is leaving they're just waiting for when they leave this king of cups i feel this is four of cups they're over it they're thinking of themselves now maybe they're even going to go after the empress or They've realized their value. I'm too good for this. And this King of Cups, when I clarified, it, the King of Pentacles came out. You know, kings are like at another level. They're not emperor level or empress level, but they're up there. I feel like this is someone mature. This is someone older with responsibilities. This is someone that perhaps likes to do the right thing. I feel like if this is you, Scorpio, you're ready for something new away from where you currently are at because six of swords showed up so this is someone leaving the past behind that's part of the judgment call someone's leaving wow ten of swords wanted to come out tell me about the ten of wands with this ace of cups why is the ten of wands here 
with the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ten of Wands here with the Ace of Cups? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that's dealing with a situation. Um, it's difficult. I feel it's emotionally difficult. Could even be financially difficult here with the Five of Pentacles. What else can you, um, can you tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups? What can you tell me about the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Cups? Queen of Swords. Yeah. The Devil at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn Energy, and the Four of Pentacles. Someone was um, bound to something, attached to something here with the Devil. And this Queen of Swords is here to help them cut the chains, basically. Cut out this Ten of Wands, let this burden go. This is a person that has been holding on to something due to feelings, emotions. Not because it's the logical thing to do. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Maybe they're afraid of being alone, afraid of financial difficulty, afraid of a loss. But it's not, it's not a healthy fear. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. I feel like it's just kept, kept this person stuck. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Yeah. This is someone that, yeah. I feel like this Seven of Swords it was the final straw. The final straw. I don't know if that was the final straw for you, Scorpio, for this other person that you might be in a connection with. But I think this was like all that someone needed to see to cut out what they were holding on to. Or to at least recognize, because the Queen of Swords is very like, they read between the lines, they're very perceptive. Nothing gets past the Queen of Swords. She doesn't miss anything. Um, and the Queen of Swords is not interested in dressing things up nicely or trying to look at the positive side of things. Like the Queen of Swords sees things as they are. That's why she's so tough to approach and so tough to deal with because you cannot be as her. So let's see how you are feeling about each other. What are the energies between you? About the energies right, between Scorpio and this other person. What are the energies between Scorpio and this other person? If you're interested and want to check them out. Tell me about Scorpio's energy in this connection. I feel like you're the one that's done just because of the energy that's showing up here for you. Tell me about Scorpio's energies in this connection. Past life. You've had a connection with this person in the past. Memories, past life, nostalgia. Okay. Tell me about the person that Scorpio is dealing with. What are the energies that they're bringing to this connection? Parting ways, separation, divide, heartbreak. There's a disconnect between you. Broken silence. Open up, be vulnerable, and express your true feelings. And burning passion. I feel like this person got themselves into trouble here. Maybe they even caused a separation be between you or a divide between you. This broken silence is reminding me of that Seven of Swords reverse. Um, like someone that is... Uh, a secret revealed or something being expressed and might maybe even breaking the silence because they didn't tell you something before and they're ready to tell you now let's get one more I feel like the memories between you and this person I don't know I feel like um this could be one of those situations where the past and the good times 
kind of keep someone in a connection. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Scorpio regarding the energies they're bringing to this connection? Tell me about Scorpio. What do we need to know about Scorpio? Message of concern. Yeah. You've realized something. Maybe you're looking back at the past because we do have judgment here and being like, wow, what a mess. Um, why did I not see the red flags? Why did I not realize something before? Um, what I'm learning now is making me look at the past differently, etc., etc. Tell me about the person Scorpio is dealing with. What do we need to know about the energies this person is bringing to this connection with Scorpio? Marriage. Well, I hope you weren't dealing with someone married and you found out. You could have been married to this person, Scorpio. But I feel like there's a disconnect between you now. I did not expect to see marriage. I'll be honest. I did not expect to see that. I really hope that this isn't someone that was unfaithful in a marriage. Because that always makes me sad. Okay. Let's keep going. What do you need to know? We're going to be looking at this person, their intentions, next actions, true feelings for you. All of that is going to be in the extended because the extended is going to be the 411 on your particular person. Oh, wait. Let me clarify your energies before I jump over there. What am I doing? Okay. Let's um, clarify these energies here between you. I'll start with you, Scorpio. Like I said, when I first put these cards down, I think in your mind, this was a wasted effort. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Two of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. Can I get one more? Seven. I feel like I'm getting a story. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Seven of Pentacles reverse, Eight of Pentacles reverse. Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. I feel, yep, I feel, Scorpio, that you gave your all to this connection. And I feel like you opened up to somebody, probably thought this was it for you in terms of a, a par partner. But all it ended up being was something difficult. Either a difficult ending or just... A lot of work, but no reward. Now, your person is trying to decide something here with the Two of Wands and the King of Swords reverse. Perhaps they wanted to be on both paths. That would definitely be a King of Swords reverse thing to do. Tell me about the Two of Wands and the King of Swords reverse. Why is the Two of Wands here? The King of Swords reverse. Seven of Swords, what a shocker. Yeah, this was somebody that um, they they played, played you or deceived you. Tell me more about the Two of Wands and the King of Swords reverse. What do we need to know about the Two of Wands and the King? Oh my God, the Ten of Swords wanted to show up. Let me put that back. The Ten of Swords wanted to come out. Tell me about the Two of Wands and the King of Swords reverse. What do we need to know about these energies? Oh my God, there it is. <gasps> oh, okay, so the Ten of Swords did want to come out. Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords. That says it all, I think. Basically, everything that we've been talking about, this other person caused it. 
I mean, you can flip the rules if you want to. Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there was possibly someone unfaithful. Someone could have cheated. Or a third, par uh, third person might have interrupted things. Could be a family member. What else do we need to know about this person? Two of Wands, King of Swords, Reverse. What can you tell us, please, Spirit, about the Two of Wands? King of Swords Reverse. All I'm seeing here is what they've done. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person... Hmm, this sucks. Okay, we have Justice here at the bottom of the deck. Leaper Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, and Three of Cups. I feel like this is somebody that... Um, they, they did this to the wrong person. You can 